Hello everyone, this is the second uh, tutorial about Zwim. Today we are going to identify the sub catchment with the use of a global mapper. Principally, in our context, we have three choices. We have Aster GDM Digital Terrain Model, we have SRTM Digital Terrain Model and ALOS Digital Terrain Model. You have to identify which digital terrain model suits best for your location. In the Syrian context, usually the ALOS digital terrain model gives better result. In the notes below the video, you will find a link of a tutorial that explain where to find the digital terrain model and how to choose the right one. We need to display the digital terrain model we need to consider the big area around our site because we need to consider the water coming from outside of the area. Once this is displayed, you need to do the watershed analysis. For this purpose, you go to analysis, you click on generate watershed. Under description, you write the name of the layer that you want to create. Under stream cell count, put the number 500, but you can uh, play around with these figures to see the result. Select watershed bound in order to limit the analysis to the area visible on the screen and click OK. It might take some time. We can see now that we have a main drainage passing to the right of our site and we can see that this drainage take water from a big catchment area therefore this drainage must be rather big and must be dimensioned properly but we don't see what happens on the left side of our site Therefore, we need to increase the resolution of our watershed analysis. We go again to analysis, watershed, and this time we change the name of our layer. We just write watershed 100 and we change the cell count of 100. Same, we need to limit the boundary to the visible area and we click OK. Now we can see what is the difference. We will see the watershed created are of lower dimension. This shows somehow what will happen to the left side of our site. Even through the higher resolution, we cannot understand where the eastern side of our watershed will be drained. We can increase again the resolution and decrease the area of analysis. I zoom in a little bit and I do a watershed analysis of higher resolution. I change the name of the layer, I write 50. I change the value to 50. I limit the analysis to the visible area and I run it. Now I see that the watersheds created are smaller and at this point I can compare the two watershed analysis. This one of 200 and this one of 50. And I can see how the streams are going to behave. I just display the stream without the watersheds and I deselect the digital terrain model. I can see now that the main part of the water goes east of the site, while a small part of the water needs to be drained on the, on the western part of the site. At this point, we can smooth our watershed. Let's start to smooth the big watershed, I display it, here it is, I select the wall area, 
I go with the mouse over it, I right click on that and under vertex editing I click on smooth. I deselect and the same with the smaller watersheds. I right click on it, I select everything, same process over with the mouse, right click, vertex editing and smooth and deselect. Okay, now we have a different representation of the watersheds.